It's harvest season for Carité or Shea in Northern Ivory Coast, and just like every year, Alice Kone picks up the fallen fruit. She processes the kernel in the traditional way her grandmother taught her. It will take her hours of hard work to make the shea butter that will then be sold at the local market. Sometimes shea butter pays well and we don't need to do anything else. But when the harvest isn't good, we have to get by with other products. Like Kone, most women in the shea industry in Ivory Coast work independently and sell locally. But shea butter is in high demand internationally for using cosmetics or as a substitute for cocoa butter in chocolate. Neighboring Burkina Faso and Ghana are among the world's leading exporters. Burkina Faso earns an estimated $33 million annually exporting shea. Ivory Coast is trying to catch up. In this village, women have teamed up in a shea co-op. When you work in a group, there are lots of ideas, and also financial backers can come help us. We have received some assistance, funding capital. They built us a warehouse. If you work alone, people can't help you. They can't build a warehouse for every woman. In some fields in the area, a new kind of shade tree is also being planted. This kind is more productive than the traditional wild type, and the country now has two mechanical processing units. Two years ago, the government began working to structure the shea sector, an effort spearheaded by Ali Keita. As soon as we have a strong cooperative structure, we will have clients in China, Europe and the United States. If we manage to create an interprofessional organization, it will allow the country to export shea butter internationally. Keita is also pushing for more regional cooperation among shea butter producing countries. Emilia Pfavio News in Kogo, Ivory Coast.